I need to show you this tape. Yeah. Back in 2003, when I ran for president and you were there to ask me a question at a forum I was doing at Harvard University. So 20 years later, now my turn to ask. Yeah. Let me let me first play you the uh, the tape of you and I 20 years ago. Yeah. Good. Let's get to my question here. Go ahead. Reverend Chapton, hello. I'm Vivek, and I want to ask you, uh, last week on the show we had Senator Kerry, and this week, and, and the week before, we had Senator Edwards. And my question for you is, of all the Democratic candidates out there, why should I vote for the one with the least political experience? Well, you shouldn't, because I have the most political experience. <laughs> I got involved in the political uh, movement when I was 12 years old, and I've been involved in social policy for the last 30 years. So don't confuse people that have a job with political experience. So 20 years later, now my turn to ask you, (laughs) of all the Republican candidates out there, why should someone vote for you? The one with the least political experience. And I might add, you've never held office. You've only voted twice That's correct. in the last few elections. You don't even vote regularly. Yes. And you support Donald Trump, who never held office until he was president. Well, you're putting a different standard on me, but I won't even make the racial uh, application there. We vote for Listen, you. at the age of 18... At the age of 18, I think you persuaded me on that one, that political experience is not the same as holding office. Oh, to tell you the truth, the so, reason so I came out there out and, right and I was intrigued. Can I put out right-wing press that Sharpton converted a young, well, I, I don't want to take credit for To you believe because. outside of political experience, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth. One of the things, I'll even give you one more for you, okay? You were the only anti-war candidate back then. I was against the Iraq war. As I recall, you were the only anti-war candidate in either party. Well, guess what? Tables turn now. I'm the only true anti-war candidate in either political party now when it comes to Ukraine. I believe in America first policies. I think this Ukraine war does not advance American interests. I was the only person with the courage to say that on the Republican debate stage last week. The, the real war I would take on is the war against the administrative state, the shadow government here at home. I think the people who we elect to run the government once again ought to be the people who actually run the government, not the cancerous bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. I'll have a 75 percent headcount reduction for all of the people who weren't elected in Washington, D.C. So this is a very different vision than you hear amongst traditional Democrats, for sure. But even amongst traditional Republicans, I want to shut down the administrative state. I want to declare independence from China. I want to grow our economy by drilling and fracking and embracing energy. And I want to revive national pride in this country. That's not a Republican idea or a Democratic vision. It is a pro-American vision. But I, but That's I, what I stand I, I for. Why I'm in this race. I would take issue that when I opposed the war in Iraq and going for weapons of mass destruction that wasn't there, so I ended up being right. You can't compare that to the United States supporting Ukraine defending itself against Russia. So that, that's Look, not I think the there's a myth thing. that Ukraine's actually, I think I was against the Iraq war then, but I'm consistent now. Ukraine is not some democracy that we've now painted it to be. I think this is a, a regime that is is a really has some serious flaws the United as well. States. Ukraine is in a, so I think I respectfully a, a strategic disagree with you. place where uh, I respectfully we have disagree that I do not think that But all right, all right, we can agree to disagree. On Ukraine that. is Let not a NATO ally, issue, and, and, and Ukraine disagree, doesn't advance U.S. interests. So that's one of the things that's distinctive about that. my views. We disagree respectfully yep. on that.